You want to hear what we're doing next Saturday night? Do ya or do ya? Tonight on iCarly, Gibby is going to give you a special demonstration. He's backstage right now, polishing his fizzer. And of course... Hi, I'm Christopher John Farley, a senior editor at The Wall Street Journal. I'm here with Jeanette McCurdy. She's <laughs> one of the co-stars of the hit Nickelodeon series, iCarly. You've also got some other ventures that you're going to talk about. So yes. thanks a lot for coming to The Wall Street Journal. Thank you for having me. I'm now, so excited. Now, of course, on, on iCarly, you play one of the hosts of a web show. So yes. what do you think of our setup here at The Wall Street Journal? I think it's excellent. It's a lot more big time than iCarly uh, is in the show because you've got two cameras <laughs> and Freddie only holds one. So this is like this is big time. <laughs> now, now, right now you're involved in a campaign to get kids to eat their vegetables more. Mm -hmm. how, what is that about and how is that going? Uh, I'm teaming up with Bird's Eye Veggies to uh. inspire a new generation of vegetable lovers. So basically our goal is just to encourage kids to view vegetables as a fun, uh, creative food and to just enjoy them more and, and see all their uses and, and how many different recipes you can make out of them and everything like that. So I have two kids. If I want them to eat their vegetables, what advice do you have? Honestly, you can go to the store and just pick up the bird's eye frozen veggies because the packages are so easy. You just rip off the top, pop them in the microwave, a couple minutes later they're done and you can get a ton of different um, varieties. So you don't just have plain broccoli, you can get like broccoli in a cheese sauce or something that will make the veggies more um, edible if you have kids that don't like vegetables so much. Now the first lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, she's yes. somehow involved <laughs> in this campaign. Can you tell me a bit about that connection? Uh, Mrs. Obama is big on encouraging our youth to enjoy their vegetables and eat healthy. So it's great that, that she wants kids to eat healthy and I feel pretty cool that <laughs> I want them to too. And she appeared on your show. I mean, yeah. I, I still remember that episode. So what are you doing here? <laughs> your Excellency. You don't call her Your Excellency. No, no, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, it's crazy. Mrs. Obama um, had her offices, <laughs> the powers of be, call the um, Nickelodeon stages and ask if she could be on iCarly. She had her Joining Forces initiative, which she wanted to promote, which is um, supporting military families, and she wanted to support, and she wanted to show her support by being on iCarly and hopefully having a storyline that would tie that in. So she called you. It wasn't like you lobbying. She called me directly, actually. She didn't even go through the iCarly people. Right. She just called me and said, "Hey, Jeanette, what's the, up?" Air Force One. <laughs> yeah, probably. exactly. This well, is Mrs. O. Now, you, you, iCarly will be. <laughs> It's closing up shop soon, right? You, you yes. filmed your last episode already? We have filmed our last episode. We filmed it a few weeks back, and it was really, really sad. Um, I mean, we've all grown up on, on that set, basically, and, and to feel like you're saying goodbye to this whole world and this whole um, life, and it was just very strange. Because you literally grew up on this set. I mean, people oh, say yeah. that, but you were, it was how old when you started? Little, 14. And you're 20 now. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, so you, you must look back on the old episodes and see how much you've with changed. With horror. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, I watch them all the time on DVD and my, with my kids, and they're, they're all entertaining, but I'm wondering, what's that like now to suddenly know you're, you're leaving this routine you've been part of for so many years? I, that's the strangest part of it, is because I think iCarly had become so familiar, and it had become such a place of comfort for all of us, and a place where we would, we would go into work every day. And it is work, and you have to be professional and you know, know your marks, know your lines, everything like that. Yeah. But at the same time, we knew all the crew members. Everybody was really, it was like a big family. Everybody got, got along very well. Um, so to be saying goodbye to that, I mean, we were just sobbing on the last day. It was, it was devastating. Um, but you know, everybody, everybody moves on and, and it's not like we have to forget about iCarly just because it's done, so that's good. Now you're working on a new show for Nickelodeon. Does, mm -hmm. does it have a name yet? Can you tell me anything about it? Uh, I, I don't, it doesn't have a name yet. I wish I had a name for uh, it. Um, I'm the dying. Jeanette McCurdy Show, how about that? <laughs> that's great, Did I get royalties yeah. from that? Uh, yeah, courtesy okay. to Chris oh, Farley, right. <laughs> there we go. Um, no, it's, it's being produced by Dan Schneider, who uh -huh. produced iCarly, Victorious, and a number of other great Nickelodeon shows. So. Uh, I'm really excited that he's the one producing it because if there was anybody I could pick, it would uh, it'd be de it'd definitely be him. I like him a lot. Uh, now you're also working on a country album as well. Uh huh. But when is that going to come out, and who are you working with for that? Um, I worked with Capital Nashville for a few years, and they released an album digitally, and I've recently moved on from that label, and I'm just sort of seeing if I want to continue pursuing music, and if so, which direction I want to go, and if I want to keep doing country, maybe go to a different genre. Now you're from the Long Beach area, from Garden yeah. Grove, <laughs> and you became a country music fan. What, what, yeah. I, I was talking to you about this before, but you're not into <laughs> Sublime. Uh, they're one of the hottest groups ever to come from that area of the world, but you're not into them? No, and I guess they went to the high school that my brother went to, and so did No Doubt. 
uh, everybody from No Doubt. So I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not on the scene. Okay, I wish I had brought my iPad. I could play them for you. Perhaps <laughs> I could make a convert, but that's not going to so happen these days. unworldly. <laughs> I guess, yeah. So, so what's next for you? After iCarly, working on the Nickelodeon show, you have the, the country music album perhaps in the works. I mean, what, what, do you th what else do you have in the hopper? Well, my favorite thing to do is make people laugh. So I've been doing a lot of comedy training with a group called Groundlings, which is oh, a yeah. comedy troupe. And um, they have a school in LA, which is, I've been going to that a lot. A school for comedy? Yes. Uh, wow, so <laughs> you go you and just there? like make people laugh all time. Yeah, that's great for any class clowns. You, you show up late, make yeah. people laugh, and it's cool, right? Exactly, and it's great for me because I'm uncomfortable with regular life, but if I can make people laugh, I become more comfortable. So that's why I like it. But, but if you fail at like comedy schools, isn't that depressing? I mean, <laughs> you, you don't make people laugh? I mean, how would you deal with that? I guess go into math or something. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll succeed at that. So thanks a lot, you That was math, not math. Thanks for coming to the Wall Street Journal. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, Chris.